so this is pm box 7 which you see on your screen released on 1st of july 2021 divide into three parts standard and the guide so we would be doing a walkthrough of the document to understand what has changed my name is kavita sharma and i am here to guide you on the next step as a pmp aspirant pm box 7 released on 1st july 2021 this month 370 pages vis-a-vis -vis 976 pages of pm box 6 so assume that a lot of content has been deleted a lot of things have been moved out emphasis is on principles um, you if you are a scrum master you know there is agile manifesto.org um, and it lists 12 principles uh, similarly pmi has listed 12 principles uh, PMI has also listed eight project performance domains, um, some guidelines for organization and project managers to tailor the projects and processes as per the need, and then a lot of emphasis on the model, method, and artifacts. Principle help you understand and take decision um, in any situation as to what you as a project manager or a project management professional should do. There are 12 principles. So PMI has um, for the first time documented the guiding principle for a project management professional. How should you behave? Why should you behave like that? For example, be diligent, respectful and caring. Um, be collaborative, work with your team, engage with the stakeholder, focus on value, recognize, evaluate and respond to system interactions, demonstrate leadership, tailor based on context, build quality and processes into deliverable, navigate complexity, there are complex projects, optimize risk responses and uh, adopt and finally enable change. A performance domain. A performance domain is related activities that are critical for delivery of the project outcome. Performance domains are like knowledge area. There are eight now and few of them are new. For example, development approach. PMI has been very very vocal about that they are not only predictive way of working they support all type of project so development approach is one of the performance domain which has been added here planning is remember process group called planning you'd see most of the things from that process group here project work is all about processes of how should i carry out my work how should my team be working how do i enable them delivery is a lot of if i compare it with knowledge area it is scope um, planning would have schedule cost and other knowledge area planning part of aspects measurement is more on how do i how do i baseline how do i check and ensure that my project is in control so i'm just inclined to write it as monitor and control process group uncertainty is all about how do i manage risk and other complexities stakeholders is exactly as stakeholders team management is exactly as team management few more content is added or deleted but that's the theme the first one is stakeholder management domain has why should we do it so these are the outcomes required definitions similar diagram from pm box 6 talks about how do we go about doing stakeholder management so we identify understand prioritize and monitor similar things which were there you know we plan we do we check and act um how do we communicate so these are again from if you look back pm box 6 has type of communication pull push interactive um, all of that is part of this uh, pm box 7 in a different way 
team performance domain similar pattern why should we do it there are different roles which are listed here for the first time pmi has again if you look at scrum standard you would be able to see that there are roles in the scrum standard um, this is the scrum guide and then there are different roles why do we do it um, then values and then the roles in a scrum team similarly here there are roles listed typical role listed for any project management team let's let me walk you through delivery performance domain again this one is um, towards the delivery uh, let's look at what's there uh, so delivery basically talks about scope what should we deliver how do we deliver and so on so deliverables requirement um, how do I gather requirement how do I manage requirement and so on so these are the ones which are in delivery let's look at what's there in the measure performance domain it is all about how do I measure the success um, so there are matrices from where should I measure I should measure from the baseline and where should I publish dashboards or status reports so this is typically monitor and control um, all about how do i measure how do i stay in control talks about kpis um, futuristic indicators trends and lagging meaning whatever has happened before so those indicators uncertainty performance domain because we are doing projects there are going to be uncertainty there are going to be problems there could be things can go wrong so how do we handle the uncertainty how does it arise and so on um, typically i can map it with risk management and then um, start off from there so if you look at a um, lot of tools and techniques have been taken from risk management and um, it's been discussed here so we covered the eight performance domain third section of the pm box 7 is tailoring um, not all the organization are same there are different challenges there are different type of project there are different delivery approaches so uh, an organization can start off with what is the life cycle approach you would want to go with what is the processes which fits any organization so tailor at various levels tailor at the project level and tailor at operations level so PMI is, is coming out and giving uh, the message with PM Box 7 that a lot of things are changing. We are an umbrella standard which support predictive as well as agile way of working. Tailoring is why should I tailor? Um, typically, it's it is to give the message as to you know, organization can pick up and tailor the processes for them um, at the organization level. Um, what is a model a model is a, a way of thinking method is a way of working to achieve an outcome an artifact is a template document or any outcome of the project process so if i look at pm box 7 models there are different models which are combined here we have communication model you guys are aware about this motivational models which are hygiene factors theory of needs theory x y and z you have team development models which are tuckman ladder performance remember conflict management so all of that has come up here salience model few new models have come up for example how do we manage changes how do we manage complexity so um, situational leadership so these are few new uh, which is a very welcome change in the pm book because that is the need of the hour a lot of people are looking at how do i behave how do i manage changes 
so there you are all of these are put in here tuckman ladder you guys know performing storming norming performing adjoining all of these are listed here let me walk you through methods so different methods like four categories of methods are listed in PM box 7 the first one is data gathering and analysis estimations have been clubbed together meetings is a new section which has been added in PM box 7 and few more let me show it to you so uh, the first one is data gathering and analysis these are remember these are tools and techniques which were there in the PM box 6 for example alternative analysis benchmarking cost of quality all of these you guys have seen all of them in the PM box 6 make or buy analysis and so on the second one is estimation function point estimation analogous you guys know parametric you guys know multi point is optimistic pessimistic and most likely a story point is taken from the agile world and so on you have another section for the methods called meetings and again here I would like to draw a comparison with the scrum standard or scrum guide wherein different meetings are listed so here again PMI has listed various meetings like backlog refinement bidder conferences kickoff meeting iteration review iteration planning so they are saying that we are project management organization of all type of projects the last one is the miscellaneous methods for example time box NPS and so on the last section is artifacts what are different artifacts any project can generate so there are or what are different documents a project can have so there could be plans there could be baselines reports and so on I've kind of put that on in context here for you um, for example there could be different plans like change management plan quality management plan there could be different logs like assumption log um, backlog change log etc hierarchical charts are all those uh, charts which are one to many relationship resource breakdown work breakdown organization breakdown strategy artifacts are project charter brief vision roadmap um, agile here baselines you guys know different type of baselines like budget schedule scope um, visual data affinity diagram burn down burn burn up chart etc reports dashboards and so on different type of contract and any other artifacts like activity list project calendar and so on so um, these are the document which are listed or artifacts which are listed in the PM box 7 if I go to commonly used artifact you're gonna see it here um, strategy artifacts details are given then we have logs and registers details are given on what is assumption log and so on uh, plans different type of plans which are listed here scope management plan test plan and so on hierarchical chart organization breakdown all the breakdown structures one to many structures baselines different baselines which are agreed and approved with the right stakeholder visual data talks about different type of charts which you create um, so I was hoping they would give diagram of each chart but it's not there not a problem reports so different type of reports which can be there's another uh, thing which I want to mention that PMI has said that they have come out with something called project plus as the website and this website would have 
lot of data on the standards on the template and maybe some kind of charts and so on so you might want to go to project plus any pmi member could be could have access to project standard plus that's pretty much the tour of pm box 7 In the PM box 7, you would see one more appendix as product. And this is interesting to read because a lot of teams are working on product development. Um, some of the work which product development people are doing is being captured here. Futuristic way of working, working with the product development companies. Um, I, I think it's a good effort wherein all, most of these work are being written and compiled. So a good section to look at would be the product section. I hope the video made sense to you. In case you have any questions or queries, you can write to me at kavita, kavitasharma.net or you can go to my website, which is again kavitasharma.net. Thank you and I wish you a very nice day. Bye-bye.